do I still hate it? Well, greetings, my dragons. Welcome back to Peyton Place. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, love you. So today is a day that I'm not gonna lie, I've not been looking forward to. On a plus side, it is my three year anniversary technically of being on YouTube. Where has time gone? And on another plus side, it is December 15th and you know what that means. It's time to look at the advent calendar. Show y'all what it is. I thought for a second that Paul for to do something, but okay. It literally is just dot, dot, dot. Do y'all see that? It was just literally when Kevin was staring at the stripper and just, but back to the real purpose and reason we are here today. I, for my three year anniversary of being on YouTube, so if you've been here from the beginning, I seriously love you so much and appreciate you. I never thought this was something I would do even regularly, and I know I fell off of it from I just getting so busy and then life and then drama that it, ensues on YouTube and just shitty, pathetic people. But I'm happy to be back. I figured it all started with The Last Jedi, and you know what? I'm gonna watch it again and see if my feelings three years ago still stand strong today. I have a feeling they will. I've not seen The Last Jedi except for that one viewing. I mean, I'm slowly, things are coming back to me that I'm like, I don't wanna watch it. Like, I don't, I really don't. I'm going to grab some aviation gin, some Ollie Pop, which is a delicious, healthy soda I've talked about it on my live. Mix it together, sit down, and then waste a couple hours of my life. Let's go wash, guys. No, he didn't do anything. Well, let me take the lightsaber, that's the most precious lightsaber ever, and just chuck it over like the whole entire Star Wars trilogy. Like, Mark Hamill would never have agreed to this. The only thing they got right in this trilogy is the music. Porks. Oh, Jin. Well, I mean, I like Kylo now, so this isn't a bad sight to see. Who are you? Who were you? I want answers. Oh my god, I don't even remember this. This happened? Oof, sexy motherfucker. And I stand corrected. It's okay, baby. I'm here for you. I love this theme music. It's just like so good. We need Luke Skywalker. To save the franchise. Oh, I cracked myself up. If you're over 21, alcohol helps this movie. <laughs> to quote Jeremy Johns, alcohol is required. Okay, never mind. Back to reality. These stupid cows with the milk bullshit. So stupid. Why did he agree to this? I hope you were paid a lot. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this. It's like parcel tongue Voldemort, like Harry Potter vibes. Or like the mummy Imhotep whispering below the sand. That's what that sounded like. All this whispering. Yoda. You need Yoda. Rest in peace, princess. We miss you. It's in a whole speech. <laughs> this whole entire movie. Okay. Hi, baby. It makes it much more enjoyable to watch this one at least has something to look at. The whole thing just seems like so chopped together. I gotta admit, Kylo is a great fighter just like his grandfather. Of course Poe lives during the last. Okay, my ass. Wait for it. We're gonna have some Mary Poppins in five and four and three and a two and a one. It's Mary Poppins, y'all. Now I remember why I hated this, because this is so stupid. This would never happen. I'm just gonna fly on back because I can't all of a sudden. Also, like, now I can't watch because, like, I don't like John Boyega because he all he did was, like, trash what gave him his, like, start for it all. You wouldn't be where you are, sir, if it wasn't for Disney and Star Wars, so I wouldn't, you know, bite the hand that feeds you. Okay, I don't like this either. How could you do that, Chewie? How could you eat one of them? Yeah, see, that's why, another reason why I hated this movie. Mm. 
fucking dice. Y'all just made it a thing to make it a thing. It wasn't even a thing. You just made it up. You just wanted to sell something else. <gasps> iTunes. Nothing can make me change my mind. That's like Alan Grant saying no force on earth or heaven to get me near the island. Yay, set them all free. Yay. But then once you set them free, like, where do they go? You, they just get recaptured. Like, they're on planet still. Like, I don't... I'm not really sure how this was planned to be executed. Like, what the actual hell is the point of this? Yeah, let the herd go. Let them be free. Let them graze and be happy. All right, Rose, I'll give you that. You believe the animal should be free. That's your only saving grace. Oh my god, his hands are massive. I wonder what a lucky wife he has. Holy sh- He's talking about the trilogy. It's been a good time, you guys. Cheers. It's Yoda! Mr. Yoda. Small but mighty. Yes. Why can't all the Jedi appear? Why can't like Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan? Honestly, the best parts of episode 8 are all the nostalgic parts. I never noticed he stuttered. Or did I? I can't remember. Did he stutter? Did I remember that? I don't know. She called you by your name. Well, he did turn to help her and she did turn to help him. So essentially, they both weren't wrong. Because it's about to be the epic red guard, red room battle thing where Snoke just gets sliced in half and is useless. Oh, Gwendolyn Christie. So I arrived in this whole entire movie just to leave. Okay. Cause I am a disposable character, like this whole entire movie. So far, it's so not as awful as I remember. It's just like, not good. So poorly written. Who are you? Are you Darth Plagueis? Like, I don't understand. Where'd you come from? This looks so dumb. We're just standing there like, nah. You lying snake. What kind of insults are these? Yo, Kylo Ren did it, y'all! And here comes the epic four! You guys would be such a cute couple! And here she grabs onto his thigh, because who the fuck wouldn't? I mean, I will admit, this scene, while convoluted, is very good. That, like, whatever that whip rope thing is, is dope. Creepy as hell, but dope. I mean, Adam Driver, he's good. Daisy Ridley's okay. They don't have that power of fighting like you and McGregor and Hank Christensen have. Like, they know how to fence. They know how to wield these sabers. Choreography just like in these movies is nothing compared to those. You come from that. You're not. Kind of looked like him to say that. Aww. Goals. Take his hand, girl. I would. Do you not see him? I love how much my mindset has changed for towards him. Adam Driver, I sincerely apologize for anything mean I said towards you. I never really fully accepted you and let you in. Like, goddamn. You're like stupid hot. Ugh. Stop pointing to Cersei and staring out of a window and just like do the damn thing. You destroyed the best saber. Oh my god, there's no sound, you guys. It split through every ship. Oh my god, every ship is destroyed. And so Rose and Finn happen to be alive. Okay. But wait, guys. Let's have an epic battle first while the whole ship is falling apart. Pew pew, pew pew pew, pew pew pew, pew pew. No, I can't go, Rose. I have an epic battle to do. Hey, need a lift? Hey, need better lines? This movie is just so cheesy. Like, Star Wars would never say that. You never see Obi Wan saying, hey, need a lift? The Crystal Foxes for more product placement. We're on hot, you guys, but wait, it's not hot. It's not ice. It's not snow. It's salt. And it turns red this time. BB-8 is the only thing saving this movie. The Crystal Foxes are so cute. I now remember why I hate this movie so much because it's just so horribly written, so horribly acted. Even Han and Luke, when they were like in their life, we're gonna save things. Like, they didn't act like this. And this guy being like, <laughs> salt. He's like, is it like Disney's way of saying like, look guys, it's different. We didn't completely carbon copy this. What was her purpose in this movie? She had none. Someone please tell me her purpose. Oh, that's right, you can't. Good job, Stop to us. That's what he said. 
Save the crystal foxes! Like, how is he not dead yet with this, like, heat from this cannon? Like, this thing is a hunk of junk more so than the falcon. This would've been a great death. Like, you could've just killed him right then too, Rose. Oh my god, here comes this stupid-ass kiss. Ew, ew. Not fighting what we hate, too, what we love. Oh my god, this is such bullshit. The stupidest storylines, the dumbest storylines. They had no purpose. It went nowhere. Useless characters. And he's handing her dice that had no purpose before and makes no sense. I remember why I hated this movie. He's about to go pull off something crazy. More! Cause I'm enraged! Cause I'm pissed! More! Who got killed with Skywalker, Beach? I did not come back to forgive you or save your soul. I came back as Disney paid me millions. And it was too good to pass up. <laughs> Poor C-3PO. Yo! That Matrix moved dough. They got the title in there. <laughs> the Last Jedi. Look at all the CGI rocks, you guys. What? Luke, like, being so exhausted from doing that is like Grogu and the Mandalorian being like, I'm so tired. I sleep. Always looking at the horizon. It was a song, y'all can't see, but it gave me chills. It wasn't sadness when Luke died, it was like peace and purpose. He served his purpose to make you watch this film, because otherwise you would not have. Oh my god, it's over. Y'all, it's over. Okay. So we're gonna do something a little bit different here, folks. We're gonna film this kind of review in my bedroom because I'm like walking all the way up to my office. I'll try to keep this short because I'm trying to get this video out by the actual 15th to 3 anniversary of The Last Jedi. I don't know how that's gonna go. I have five hours left to do so. We shall see. I think it's five. Four and a half. Do I still hate it? No. I extremely and really don't like it. I think now so they know how it ends and Again, I want to really sincerely, formally apologize. I hate myself for ever being so rude and so mean. Just, Adam Driver, I'm so sorry. I love you, you are a beautiful man, and I'm just an asshole. I think I was just jealous because I wanted to be in the movie, and also, like, it's not fair. Like, you shouldn't look like that. Like, okay. Good casting, I realized. Like, really after looking at Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford, I realized it's good casting. So I'll take that back. Rose, was she still annoying? Yes. I don't really think it's Kelly Marie Tran's fault necessarily. I just think, again, this was such poor writing. It's like the writers of Game of Thrones, like, wrote the, this, like, one that it was just so horrible that, like, uh, like a lot of this stuff, like, the way that these lines are written, like, no one in the Star Wars universe would, like, say those kinds of things. Like, hey, you need a lift? Or, like, huh? I'm, like, just, like, oh, my God. Like, the Canto Bite story still made no sense. Sense. like the having all those characters made no sense could have taken that out you didn't need Rose she was pointless you could have let Finn die I would have been okay if you let Finn die because I'm sorry now again like I said what I know about John Boyega and him just shitting on Star Wars and which, which is what gave him his start again don't bite the hand that fucking feeds you you could let him die I think they should have had Leia unfortunately just die in this one because it's like, yeah, knowing what they do with Nine, it wasn't much. But yes, they do explain in Nine how she got her Mary Poppins, y'all, force that Luke was trying to train her, blah, blah, blah. But I still hated the Mary Poppins moment. So dumb. Holdo made no sense to be here. But yes, you needed someone to do the no sound and space shot, which you still didn't really need either. And then you brought Snoke when gave us no backstory, no information. There's never gonna be any information on him. Like, there's not like, there's gonna be some Snoke standalone movie about who he is, where he came from, how he got his powers, who trained him, like what, like what? I don't even, unless it's somehow out there, I just haven't read it or I don't know about it. But like, that was just such a waste of a character that had so much intrigue. The Porgs are still cute. And guys, remember the reason they created the Porgs because there were so many puffins on the island of Eskelog Michael Island in Ireland where they're filming. You can't really get mad at the Porgs existing, even though they were a total product placement thing, just like the Crystal Fox the necklace, the dice, like those are just things that they try to throw out there like maybe we can make money off of this if we recreate these because people would want them kind of thing. I wasn't a fan of like again, it's a lot of it's just the writing. Like I just didn't like Poe and Finn in this. I just thought they were annoying. I thought they were boring. Ray, I don't know. Like I, I liked her and Kylo's relationship more in this rewatching it for a second time. Again, just because I have more of an infinity towards Adam Driver so maybe that's why this is being clouded. And again, alcohol while watching this probably made it a lot more tolerable because I did find myself like 
now that I kind of like let go of the anger after three years and I've been able to like just sit down and watch it like I was able to laugh at some some of the jokes they did even though while some of the jokes were funny and some of the moments were funny like that's the thing like that's what just goes to show that these writers don't know Star Wars because that's not what Star Wars is about we're not about like obvious jokes obvious made for last kind of moments like they they were just genuine moments that came from the delivery of like well-written lines in the original and even in the prequel trilogy just the sequel trilogy just really doesn't stand up to any of those because i feel like they're trying too hard to make it a cash grab and also trying too hard to just make it like oh we need to get new a new generation into this to make money off of them like, it just didn't feel genuine it didn't feel star wars to me watching this like having luke and yoda like yes but it was obvious for nostalgia and i just and you know the one in falcon and all that as much as this was set in the star wars universe it didn't feel like that like i did not get that vibe from it at all it felt like a movie that was inspired by Star Wars, if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like this just didn't have the heart and soul that you just, when you sit down and watch one, two, three, four, five, six, that you get from that. Like, I don't get that from eight still. So would I ever watch this again? No. Do I think it's ghastly, god awful? Not as much as I did three years ago. I still don't like it. Out of the three sequel ones that we were given, it's the lowest on the list. It's like, I've seen Game of Thrones and that was put together far better. And there's more characters and more storylines than this two 40,000 hour whatever it is I don't know what is it was it maybe like three hours it was or something like that it was so choppy and jumped around they kept introducing characters for no reason and you're just like why are they here and then you have these little stories just so you can do useless things with them like Rose's sister and having the necklace thing that meant, meant nothing all in all this movie made no sense the characters made no sense the plots made no sense the storylines made no sense sorry you hear my cats playing and maybe the alcohol helped maybe the alcohol just like numbed the stupidity I don't know and if you're new here and you're like what the hell I made a video three years ago losing my goddamn mind over the last Jedi I was not in a good place I was going for the jugular with that rant but it got me to where I am today that was rough if you guys like this video make sure you like share and subscribe I'm putting out a video every day for the advent calendar that was made by one of my loyal and the most amazing dragons Paul aka Larry if you guys want an advent calendar made for you or someone you love for next year I put his email down below so you can get one for yourself whatever you're into I'm sure he can create it he had so many ideas to make for me but he chose the office just because again I love the office and I feel like also again watching this movie I'm like are there a lot of sexual jokes I just didn't pick up on the first time like I'm really disappointed in myself I'm usually pretty good at that if you guys have watched The Last Jedi and rewatched it did your feelings change from the first time you saw it did you feel the same did you notice anything different were you just like god let this finish again or what Comment your thoughts below what you think. I will see you guys tomorrow, December 16th, for yet another video.